Aloha and welcome to the Lionsgate. Today is August the 8th, 2022. What a great number and a great way to start because just some housekeeping rules and what and how I conduct my webinars is usually between 60 to 90 minutes of straight webinar where a lot of people have some questions and we need to stop, but everybody has their own pace. And how we do it is after our live webinar, I put it into our YouTube channel where you guys can look at at your leisure at your own time because it has a lot of information and also it gives you some homework to do. And as you know, the way we do at Coco Joy is giving you knowledge that sometimes we don't even get the access to it. So I am sharing you my secrets on how I kind of work my, I guess you can say my magic every day. And how it all works all together is simple tools and simple techniques that in my webinars, my seminars, and my workshop, this is how we do it. And so when we do have our ask and answer Q&A time, that's when we all get involved and we can all talk about what we just did. For example, our past webinar, we, talk, we can talk about it. For example, like this one, more deep, into details because we are really on on high octane to share with you guys on what it's all about so as you know in my other webinar i use a lot of powerpoint so we can view because sometimes it's better to just see it and hear it than read it all loud because you know, nowadays in this technology world where Twitter comes along and Instagram, TikTok, that we have to get everyone's attention like that. But the thing is, is that when you really want to use this natural energy to manifest things, it takes practice. It takes time and it takes most of all understanding and most importantly is how we change our mindset because a lot of times people's like mm, i don't know about this kind of thing if it really works or if it really manifests is that kind of energy that you bring to the table can change the frequency can change the vibration on what you put out there and that's why with coco jor we do twice a month the new moon, which is completely blank. And we start your new intention, start planting the seeds and go all about it. And we talk about that. The next one I do is the full moon. When it's time to say, let go, let go of that. So we can, the next month in two weeks later, we can see how our new intention is growing. And we can start planting the seeds on other things and how it can all manifest into one singular focus, which is you. Because we spend so many time focusing around us that we get lost in the shuffle. And so twice a year, or maybe more, three times a year, I do these segments where it's a very important time and don't forget to turn off your smartphone because we really want to focus because it's all about you and how to bring that energy especially eight 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 you know because that rhythm as you can see the vibration it went together and so that vibration that you send out to the universe is really how you really want to do it. So later on, we're going to give you step by step and how one, two, three of three, six, nine works. 
And it's really about, should I believe in all of this hokey pokey or shouldn't I? And it's really up to you because it's not no witchcraft or it's not some kind of religion thing or it's not really anything. It's about really working with the earth, the natural vibration, as we say, right? Because every day is how we go to bed, put our head on our pillow and how we wake up. And in between, when is the best hour that it really works for you? For me, it's three o'clock. Three o'clock, whether it's three o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the afternoon, which we just started right now, is when I get the best energy. Everyone has different time. And for me, is three is a symbol of OM. To put myself together, to manifest, to bring in all of these structure for myself. And when I have that energy, it's the best time for me to do like this kind of webinars and speaking about how we can put in the timing. Because life sometimes, timing is, is it's really sometimes the magic of how we work right? Some of these numbers, because we were born on this certain day for this certain hour, minute, second, we were born into this world where we took our first, first breath. And that's how we look at astrology, or that's how we look at certain ways of how we can figure out, you know, when you do some of these things that um that helps you gives you much more insight it's like detoxing yourself right we don't know what's inside but as long as we keep on replenishing and detoxing and giving it good energy our chi is works better because our body is made out of 70 to 80 percent of water and so all of those things and how it works, I decide to use that method and put it into my business. And knock on wood, it has been 20 years. In fact, this year is 20 years. And so a year ago, and if I, I posted it on my Facebook, and if you want to join Coco Jar Hawaii Facebook, by all means, join us there because that's where I give you when I'm going to be doing this webinar and putting it out there and, and so forth. And so this room was literally in construction. You can hear the background where the construct, you know, construction was going on. And I was saying, and I just got the mirror and, you know, bringing in something because we were going for our second lockdown where we couldn't go to the gym. Remember that the first lockdown and the second lockdown that happened around this time that we couldn't work out. But to me is I needed my sanctuary and I needed a place because this is where I get the most strongest energy, vibration, and really all these energy that I can bring forward in my life, whether it's work personal, or just being like this to give out information to help people feel that there is somebody out there who can really understand because let me tell you, life really throws you lemon. And when they do, we have to figure out how we're going to be using it, right? Whether we can make lemonade out of it or making a beautiful dish with lemon or even putting it in our tea. And so speaking of tea, let's spill it down right now and how we're going to do it. And like I said, I'm going to bring you into my screen so you guys can also enjoy on some of these tools that really going to help you understand more about energy and how it works. And so let me get, you know, after a certain while, this thing shuts down. So um, 
bear with me while I put in the presentation. There we go. So as I mentioned, Coca Jor is celebrating 20 years in business. And I want to thank everyone for really the love and support because of you guys. You guys are my teacher. And things that I learn, I feel that maybe if I can give this information, it may or may not help someone out there. So this is part of what I do out here in Coco Jor is really helping people to bring that light. And so today we're gonna to be focusing on August the 8th, the Lion's Gate portal, the perfect way to really manifest abundance and prosperity. And later on, um, if we don't have time, I will, I'll be posting it on my um, Facebook about wallet. You can do this either I would say the New Year's or around this time because 8-8 eight, eight is really about how you want to bring in the abundance. It's like a superpower of abundance and prosperity, okay? And so all these tips, I'm going to be, that's why really I'm, I'm trying to put everything all into one, but there's only so much that our team can do. So the best thing to do is really Go to our Facebook page and there's always all this information about it. So the Lion Gate is the opening of really this galactic gate that delivers high frequency energy into our planet, believe it or not, allowing us to renew our spirit energy and the spirit energy of Mother Earth. And so... Coco Jor has been in business for the past 20 years, opening our brick and mortar, starting in from homeopathic starts from home, really started from my two dogs named Jordan and Coco. And heaven is really a heaven sent, which took me down into the next thing to do in my life. As we went out to Beverly Hills and really explored and did a lot of research and development. And that's how we decide to bring in all of that knowledge and all of that things that I learned, you know, out from a lot of my travel and how I literally eat, pray, and love throughout the last seven years or more, well, put it all together, past 30 years, because my specialty is in international business. And that's what took me from Hawaii out to Los Angeles. And so all of this really coming back from the pandemic made me really think twice on how it's the best way is really putting it on online like this. So everyone has the time to whether they're at the beach or whether they're sleeping or whether they're just cruising. Coco Jor really brought in that lifestyle of the modern day pet owner, as well as bringing in their canine because they're part of the family now. And so a lot of our things that we do here is focusing on the well-being. Whether I'm out in Los Angeles or whether I'm out in Hawaii, I brought in all this unique energy, you know, because that's how the pebbles or the path really brought me in to the last 20 years. Whether I'm doing my Hawaii doggy fashion, how I started, or whether I'm doing my medical microbubble care. It's all the things that I turn that knowledge into action and really create a system. Because if you don't create a system and be disorganized, you can't really stay focused. You know, sometimes they say you can't do be multitask because you're going to screw up somewhere, which is the truth. Because I went from one 
next, one thing to the next thing to the next thing. But the thing I did was I broke it down to singular purpose. And by doing singular purpose, our body and mind can only handle so much before we're going to get exhausted and we blow up. And that's what really happened when sometimes us entrepreneur or us overachiever and us moms and dad who wants the best quality in our life. But sometimes we forget that all of this really needs to sit down and really turn all of what we learn, whether you are five years old or 50 years old or even 80 years old. Age doesn't matter. It's how we turn our knowledge into the action. And really, a lot of starts from problems because we're always looking for solutions. And so that's when opportunity comes knocking on our door was really our other segment that we did when who knows what's going to happen, right? And so first of all, we really need to detox with the power of water. And that's how I created our online system where you can learn and earn. But today we're not going to be talking really about that because I'm just using this as an example because I use that bad part of my life where I had to suffer with my dogs to find a solution. And I did. And so at the end of the day, I curated, thanks to heaven, this compact, eco-friendly machine that only weighs seven pounds where you and your dog can detox. And how are you gonna learn it is through my courses. And also don't forget, we also have our spa line. So if you're not ready for our courses, jump in and get our all natural spa collection. We also have auto ships. So we came here to really learn about the 8-8, the Lionsgate portal. And if it's time to get your cup of tea or water, and get yourself situated. We're turning off the phone and getting your book of knowledge for you. We can go and start our segment. And our segment is really about how the power of the lion gates lies and what kind of, you know, cosmic, Sir, energy between the stars and the sun and the numbers, but terms itself refers to an annual alignment between, guess what? The sun in Leo and the series, the brightest star in the, in the night sky, also known as, guess what? The dog star. And so the thing is, is that whether you believe in what culture or what God is or what this and that, there is always history behind besides what we read every day, you know, because it's really how you want to see what is inside your landscape and how it will help your zodiac sign and what you can be lucky at and what you can keep on working on. Because in life, there's always the good, the bad, and the ugly truth. And the ugly truth is sometimes we really don't want to hear about it, right? And so this really starts out the portal. Day two for our 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate portal chit-chat story on this Meditation Monday. It's August the 8th. We'll be talking about living life. And as you can see, life is not a race, but indeed a journey. Be honest, work hard, and be choosy. Saying thank you, I love you, and great job to someone each day. Go to church. Take the time for a prayer. Because really, it comes down to you speaking with the higher self 
your church can be something like this that I created. And I'm ready to rock and roll to talk to you more about how you can create your own church within yourself. So stay tuned and start living your life and your journey. Aloha. And so as we move on to what your journey is, because now we're playing live, the great awakening starring we, the people. And I wanna give a great shout out to all the people who understand what's going on in this world. And in the unseen world too, it's a battle for our soul. And so this lion gates that happened in 8 the 8 is a day to observe really what the ancient astrologer and pneumologist alike really talks about. And the porter widens its jaw from usually the end of July. This year was July 28th, and it's going to take you all the way to August the 12th. Mind you, the full moon is on August the 11th. So I hope you got all of your pen and paper and writing this down because this is a time when you get the strongest energy that's really coming up and what we can really maximize ourselves. And so this is when we use these power that really our ancient DNA, which I can say that all the knowledge you ever accumulate throughout your various incarnation is stored in the back of your subconscious mind and it can never be lost. Whether you believe in reincarnation or not, there is this thing where when we pass away from our physical body, our soul goes up somewhere right and sometimes when we see these orbs or all of these things are really something of our subconscious mind where it was somewhere in our life somewhere where our soul was connected to some ways and so it's always good to go back to and if you're so lucky and your parents are still alive ask them ask them about your dna because all of that really helps you on this journey on this spiritual journey because a lot of us really in 2020 decided to go on the spiritual journey to find ourselves because we realize that our life is so short we don't know right we can go to the supermarket or to the movie and come back home and get sick and who knows and so all of this really is time to focus on yourself. And especially is when we can really use that energy. And like I said, these ancient Egyptian and how they really use agriculture, goddesses and God, whether they're Egyptians or Hawaiians or Jewish or Japanese, Chinese, we all have that in our DNA. And so all of these things are really understanding. Sometimes they do it during the new year. And, you know, everybody's new year is different, but we make it as January is the new year. Some people make it as the Chinese, they do have Chinese New Year's in February or where we have the Jewish culture celebrated on another day and so on and so forth. And so August is a time that 8-8 eight, eight is when the universe celebrates it, where it's taking up all that strong energy. And what's strong about it is that I think this is the third or the fourth back to back to back super moon and so you have all of that plus you have all of these other things that's happening like i said there was a new moon on the 27th when this portal was getting open and then the 11th is going to be the full moon 
And mind you, from the 13th to the 15th is Obon time, which is in Japanese um, when we go and really um, pray for the for the our ancestors, just like in Mexico when they have um Halloween, they have that for, you know. And so the thing is, is that in life we see so many things that sometimes we there is no coming to conscious as we say, you know, because there is no coming to consciousness without the pain. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, absurd, in order to avoid facing their own soul. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, by making the darkness conscious. And this has a very heavy meaning to it because sometimes we avoid things because it's so much easier. And we get ourselves into the deep, dark part of us. Because like I said, there is always the good, the bad, and the ugly. And everyone is born beautiful. But somewhere along the line, there is something that misguides us. Whether it's we have in our DNA these things of tendency of our habits of our bad behavior where there is reaching for you know alcohol or reaching for you know drugs that climax into the next drug and next drugs and have a chemical reaction and and all these things that comes up in our lives and i love this story about this beautiful young lady who went through all of these trials and tribulation and she ended up graduating as a lawyer because she went through all of that. And she realized that sometimes being on a different frequency means that no matter what you're saying, that person just can't hear you. <clears throat> How much of us go through that every day, right? With Sometimes with our kids, sometimes with our significant others, sometimes with our parents, sometimes with our friends, our siblings, even our co-workers, that no matter how much time you tell them, it bypasses it. They can probably hear it a little bit, but the frequency is off channel. And that is why is off channel is because we don't have the correct channel within ourselves because our mind is racing like the monkey mind. And so when that happens, it means really sometimes when you wonder why you can't hear God's voice during your trials, remember the teacher is always quiet during the test. And so we always figure out, like, should I ugh, work at it, figure out and find the solution and find the answer? Or should I take the shortcut and cheat and look over, thinking that the other side of the grass looks greener, the answer, but they could be wrong. And so really, this is a time where you really hear that outer spiritual world, whether you believe in God or Buddha or Hare Krishna or whatever, your God is really your voice of hearing yourself because the darkest light is really the brightest light because you're always looking to find the truth. And the only way is to find the truth is Unfortunately, we have to go through all of these trials and tribulation because we know that when that happens, sometimes many people believe that most frequently washed body parts in 2021 was the hand. But in fact, it was the brain. And so in order for people to even write this kind of thing is the fact 
Because a lot of us was, if we can say, really, the facts sometimes get washed away. And so we can't really find the truth because society has become so fake that the truth actually bothers them. So really the truth actually bothers people is because why? Sometimes we want to turn the other cheek and look at the other side because everything you ever wanted to, really, everything you ever wanted it is on the other side of this fear factor. So if we have all of these things that people tell us, these fear, fearful things like you're going to die, but who said dying is a fearful side? Dying could be beautiful. Dying could be really understanding how the spiritual consciousness works. Because remember, this is just something we're borrowing. It's the soul that really creates that. Remember the consciousness of your cubby hopes. And so really, if you really want to see what's on the other side, meaning that if you keep on cheating and look at the other person on Instagram or social media and how great they they look and what they eat, how they dress, what they drive, everything looks so good. I want to be like that. Then you're just going to be a wannabe. And you could never, ever see the other side because you're fearing to see and take off that mask. And by doing that, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. Because life is always time to check in. And that's why I have these courses where the new moon and the full moon and these kind of special webinars where I really want to give you these sets of tools and technique that I was so graciously passed on to and able to acknowledge because why? I never thought I was too old to learn again, you know? And for me, that's my saying. You are never too old to learn again and how you can earn another lifestyle. Meaning that, it's not only money, it's really opening up that pure energy, that pure light within yourself. Because I have gone through many different kinds of journey, whether I was married and divorced and started a new company and didn't know what the hell I was doing, and but I just put, I put it out there to the universe because I kind of said to myself, what? am I doing to myself where I can't find my ikigai or my passion, my purpose? And so I let that pure energy within me open up and I looked at two dogs and Coco and Jordan, what should mommy do? And that's how I started my company, Coco Jor. Literally, I got called crazy for assuming things that really end up to turn out to be true. 20 years later, people look at me like you're making doggy bikini, speedos, and you're going all the way out to Japan to do this. And I said, yeah, why not? And most of all, I had the American Staffordshire Terrier showing that day in Japan because I just said, what do I got to lose? What do I got to lose? And so I took everything that I had the passion of showing dogs, the passion for fashion, the passion that I could speak and understand the Japanese culture, the business practice, and all of that that I learned and that I earned to be in this position. And so <laughs> they literally thought, oh my God, when I want the best in breed, for the Amstaff and I went all the way to the brew and really taking third place for the Terrier class. The owner of that Amstaff was like, oh my God, what is she doing? Is she crazy? But from then on, they become one of my biggest supporter because 
it turned out to be true. Why? Because I was very unbreakable and I really put out to be doing things that is uplifting. Things that I know that it's some kind of a solution. So I manifest in doing things to make people happy because dogs really during the hardest time was my only closest unconditional love that I got from them through that divorce. And so things that you- I don't have time to, to be angry. You know how much time it takes to hold an attitude and a grudge? That's time and energy. I don't have that time. The time that it takes you to go, I don't like that person and keep that in you over a period of time, that's a lot of time that can be devoted to something. Really? And so instead of being angry at my ex-husband, yeah, we went through a year and a half. We were married for a year and a half and it took me a year and a half for a divorce. But instead of me being angry and all of that, I put that into my company and said, hey, there's all different kinds of life. It's how we pick each leaf and whether what I always say there is always a reason for a season to make it into a lifetime passion of who you are and so I started really picking up all that chakra of life and all of a sudden I opened up to the universe and that's when the magic is really the connection to the higher understanding with nature and how you can really manifest all of these things into your life by really opening your mindset. It's not some kind of crazy magic or some kind of, you know, I don't know what you call it, you know, spell or whatever. It's really a spell of how you want to read your own alphabet four things to remember every single day number one the past cannot be changed number two happiness is found within and those two things are really that got me to really come out and say that people you Whatever religion that makes you hate someone, you really need to change your religion because spirit and the divine is not something that you end up hating people, whether it's their color or their belief or how they do. Everyone has a different sense of life respect it because once you get out of that crowd of noises of people telling you what to do or calling you crazy or telling you all these negativity because don't just like the dogs don't force me to be social do you like everyone you meet probably not neither does your dog just like us dog have different level of you know, how they want to be social and how they want to have their, what really the tolerance. And I use this because it doesn't matter whether you are a dog or whether you are human, all of these traits are social, are tolerant, are selectivity and reactivity is really how we balance ourselves. Because it cut, breaks down to that really 80-20, 10, 40, 40, 10. And I use this because it's the same thing, whether you are an animal or whether you are a human, we all have so much within us that we get socially sometimes annoyed or irritated. And that's when we get rude because people keep on pushing us, just like us as a baby or a puppy. 
or a young toddler, you know? And so we have to see in how even, whether it you are a dog or a human, we go through all of these things of how we're gonna be really bringing our tolerance, our annoyance, our behavior, and bringing it first is the intention, right? What is our intention? So that's why when we talk about the new moon, we first of all put in our intention. And with our intention, we look at our behavior. Where are we? Are we in a very bad mood or in a very bad place? Just like the lady who saw her behavior was due to what? Because we are a creature of bad habits. And with that bad habit, she realized that for her instance, it was really abuse cycle. And sometimes we need to break that cycle because that sometimes happens. We know we have, so like, you know, they go through, have you, have you had anyone in your family that has some kind of mental illness or, or some kind of cancer or this or that? We go through all of that. And from that, it's all breaking down to through our behavior, through our, our habits, and these are the real critical point in our life to see that one, two, three. Because if we can't get to the next level, we have to figure out what exactly are our intention, right? And if we do have a behavior problem, we need to fix that behavior problem because we are a creature of bad habits. And so we need to, by doing that, slowly then go to the next phase. Once we recognize this one, two, three, we then need to practice because you cannot just, you know, expect that you go cold turkey, that you're going to stop smoking or stop drinking because we're not balanced yet. Our, our body is not ready yet. So we need to practice and practice and practice. And how we do it is become into second nature. For example, you know, one year ago, yeah, I was drinking here and there socially. But then I decided to kick that behavior because I have a bigger thing I have to think about. I need to be focused. Not like I was an alcoholic. Maybe I drink one beer every two months or, you know, when somebody come over and, or go out with my friends, but then they end up always drinking or doing something in that phase. And so all of that thing I had to analyze. Do I want to spend my freedom? We finally got our freedom, right? After that second lockdown, we were able to go out and enjoy and but we have to be selective in how we use our time and what we do. And that was part of the practice. And that practice of how you want to change your life gave you that opportunity. And that's why the Lion Gate is really comes, as you can see, this eight, 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 eight circle. No matter how you look down this chart. It shows you the circle of eight, which is the circle of light. And so, you know, don't you don't think that you can be a, a great golfer like, you know, Tiger Wood. He practiced, but where it came into his second nature, but he didn't look at his behavior problem that created some bad habit that led him into the spin cycle. And so all of this vortex of how we choose to do ourselves is really practicing what we can create the second nature of who we want to be. Because then simply figuring out these steps finally gets you to the simple fact of who you are, okay? And by doing that, we get into the five W's of life, right? Who 
you are is what makes you special. Do not change that for anyone because you went through all of that, right? Doom, 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 doom. You just saw on the previous screen. And what lies ahead will always be a mystery. Do not be afraid to explore because when life pushes you over, you push back harder because we, we, we learn how to do it, right? Like that beautiful lady, she pushed and push and push. You know, when we do yoga, we have to do this, We whether you want to do it 10 seconds or you want 10 seconds of more life. And we push and push ourselves to an extreme where we have nowhere else to go but then within. And that's why I love to practice Bikram hot yoga because it really brings out only one person that you look around and no one's going to help me out of this room. And that's what made me stronger is practice. I don't care how much I've been or how much I can do all of this. It's really the breath of light that brings you to the next level, which is really the biggest, hardest thing is where there are choices to make Make the one that you want and you won't regret it. Okay? Because sometimes the choices that we make, right? Here's a test. The test, the teacher is quiet, which is the universe, which is our spiritual side of us. It's not saying anything, which button to choose. Because at the end of the day, we want to have this choice that you can make, the freedom that you want to make, make the one you won't regret. Because we've already gone through that path, right? You think that young lady who went through all of that and became a lawyer, she knows where she wanted to go. Why? Because things happen will never be certain. Take it in stride and move forward. So when we look at the five W in life, it's really who, what, when, where, and why. And that's when you start to understand the five W's. Because look at this, for example. My poor dog didn't know what was going on except Hey, I, I am, um, excuse me, the so-called bad pit bull or the bad Amstaff, the naughty big one. This is a 90-pound dog wearing <laughs> an overall. And heaven's like, I mean, Coco is like, yeah, right. But look at my yard. I had nothing, nothing except these two that gave me the strength. And Lily, 11 years later, here I am with an award-winning Hawaiian doggy wear, also with my all-natural spa collection that I was in the runway in New York, the first pet fashion week in New York. Who would have known, right? And I did a collaboration with Japan, Minihuni Plantation, to do this, this is their fabric, the original fabric. And so I collaborated with Japan because Japan at that time was my biggest market. And they were really the ones who gave me that idea 20 years ago to make doggy wear, where I was literally lying on, you know, in front of the driveway and crying. And I said, Jordan, Coco, what should mommy do? And I need my dog wearing doggy clothes. And it took me where I am today. And so why I did that is because really, Richie, Tori Spelling, Carmen Electra, and the list goes on. <laughs> She's created a clothing line, all organic treats. I love this one, the peanut butter. And she got huge props for creating a vest that stays cool for days, even on dogs in 125 degree heat in Afghanistan. We receive a, a Freedom Award from the U.S. Army too. Then there's a micro bubble treatment, the first one in the U.S. 
all we use is just water. And his negative ion goes deep into the skin, which all the impurities are positive ion, and it just takes it right out of the skin. Touched off with her full line of skin healing shampoo. We also won an award with that in 2009. <laughs> Sheesh, talk about a local girl making Hawaii proud. Here in the bright orange building, her dream has come together. And this time, she's making sure pet owners are part of her world. It's always been my passion to always be with my dog. So I created so I created where I put all of my passion, like I mentioned, where I know that I'm able to really heal them like before and after. And all these things that really 20 years ago, did I ever think I could do that? Absolutely not. But I found a way to really use what I learned to earn and to really, the three things that I really brought in in that 20 years is really giving back to the pet owners, the modern day pet owners were I had to go through all of this. And by doing this, number one, I can guarantee the quality of Coco Jor for the past 20 years of service because of the loyalty I have overall. And number two, I can guarantee is the results, immediate results, because the trust is there. And number three is the impact that I really was able to put not only for myself, but to many people's life and instantly seeing it for themselves that it's proven. It is a proven one, two, three method of loyalty, trust, and most of all, yep, one was good, so it doesn't leave. Bringing it and so the water. Let me get a hold so you can see the difference on the shower. Okay. And so all of this, I am giving it to the modern day pet owner, as well as making it so convenient that it's so turnkey solution on how to do it. And people in the beginning couldn't understand about medical so micro bubble. Showing the difference between a regular water shower and a micro bubble shower. So we have it right now at regular shower. So let's put it in here. It's a regular shower water and she just has to change the um, the water pressure into a micro bubble. Which is one one thousand, and you can start seeing it going right now. You see the difference? It's one one thousand. That's why it's white. The water, and what it does is so small that it lifts up all the impurities. As you can see, she's working on her hands and doing that. And you can really use it because you're not using any harsh chemicals. You're just using regular water. So as you can see, the true difference between a shower water and a medical micro bubble water. And so, really, I took the time to look into all of that and how this technology that really, as they say, the tinier it is, the more powerful it is. And today we're not gonna be talking about medical microbubble besides the way it really gets down to what we all have is all of these negative things in ourselves. And we need to really get that exfoliated 
out of our stuff because we have to start to listen and open your ears to your ancestors and you will understand the language of spirit. Just like the water. And if you have gone in my courses, that's another whole different animal about water because that's something that nobody really taught us about water and detox so if you want to look at about that courses and some information i have it in our youtube channel but going back to really all of us has all of this it's really the language of our spirits that's really there to guide us as we say, our guardian angels. Ooh, look at that. Nice energy coming through. And so once you get connected to that, you start seeing all of these <laughs> energy just kind of comes by and reaches you. Some may say, oh, that's the reflection of the light. But the light has some kind Whoa. of, look at that, frequency, vibration to create that. And so when we see orbs, and these kind of things, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's us awakening our DNA, our tree of life. When we reach to the sky and be, and be part of your lily, your ancestors, your tree of life, you bring in all of these good mana, as we say in Hawaii, this undivine spirit. And so all of these are so critical and so important because. Oh, look at that orbs. There's the moon. And so living life is really not a race. It's intended to be a journey. Really be honest with yourself, work hard and be that change. And so when you look at some of the work with Masaru Emoto, which I studied so much with the frequency of water and the vibration, Things like, thank you, I love you. Things of great gratitude really changes all of that, right? So always welcome, because if that tree of life is the symbolic of men, strength and beauty, the tree of life symbolize and represent our personal growth, our uniqueness, and individual beauty. In response to our passage from the tree branches to the sky, the branches of the tree are just as strong as they can grow upwards to the sky. They strive for wisdom and new experience really on our way. And so whether you see it sometimes in this form, you know, or whether you see it in orbs in this form. It's nothing to be scared of, or it's not one of these, you know, UFOs. So the next time you meet someone, remember that it is just a tiny moment in that personal entire journey, right? So don't judge them based on that one encounter. And use it as a representation of their entire existence. 
Maybe they had a bad day. Maybe they had lost someone. Maybe they are struggling with their mental health. You will meet people at different points in your life and have completely different experience. Live life giving grace to others because I always say there is a reason for that season that's going to be maybe be part of your lifetime. And so all of these encounter that you do really is a spiritual growth. And a lot of people are afraid to use that word, spiritual growth, because who knows what somebody might say about us. You know, somebody may think we're crazy. Hey, listen, people call me all kind of names. You know, the same stick and stone may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yes, they do. But some of these words, we have to rise above it because sometimes you can't help some of these people who are just negative Nancy, negative Norman, because maybe they see your light that has a great light of fun or a rainbow connection to the higher being. And so people do these things because they want to, as in Japanese, pull you down. Ashio to really pull you down to their level. And so if you feel that happening, learn how to do this 369. And it manifests me method was one of the first experience that I literally discovered when I came initially came across the law of attraction. And really is what you put out to the universe is what really Nikola Tesla really talked about. And he was famed for not only his inventions such as the remote control, the Tesla coil, but also his spiritual enlightenment. We all have that. We all have that. But sometimes we just don't know how to use it. Or sometimes when we say, oh, we're going through a spiritual path and then everybody look at you like, okay, how much of you guys had that? And now once you're on that path, stay in that path because you know what? You can be clucking with the chicken or flying with the eagle, okay? And so this is what really people who already feel this welcome spiritual enlightenment it's really understanding the numbers. And just so happened 369 as being the divine numbers. And was once quoted saying, if you knew that magnificent of the number 369, you will have the key to the universe, right? And so exactly what I created was a turnkey solution. So everyone can understand the great benefit, what you can do with Coco Jar product without moving too far into the vortex of mathematics, which is where the inventor exceeds. Tesla had a theory which linked the power of 369 when studying the circle 360 degree, which is three plus six equals nine. For example, he discovered that no matter how many times you divide one, okay, the outcome will always be three, six, or nine. He felt that these three numbers held, held great significance in the universe, nature, and the human blueprint. And so it said that the universe Number three is a direct link to the universe, right? Oh, you see the three. While well, the number six represents the strength we have in ourselves. And number nine helps to release the feeling of negativity. So that's why the full moon is a time to let go. 
to release ourselves. Because if we hold everything in ourselves, we're going to be filled with crap. Seriously. And that's why Tesla was also quoted as saying, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, which are the three exact ingredients we use when manifesting. And like I said, I do have this because I didn't want this um, webinar to go on. I don't want to go into it. You guys can do these steps yourself and you know practice 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 because literally when we look at life way back in 1970 there was no heavy junkyard junk food i mean i have nothing against tattoo but you know tattoo tattoos are really a, a recognition of who you are so I have no, nothing against tattoo, but I do have something against plastic and all that other crap because there was no sunbeds or umbrellas and glasses, all these kind of very so cream. There's actually no cell phone. And so people talk and there was no white lines in the sky and there's nothing, but there is everything of love. Look at this. That people, I remember back in the days where we used to be taken to the beach at Hanuma Bay and Sandy Beach and, you know, but look at now. My house, my son, Hanuma. Hanuma Bay. And so... This is how my weekend look like where you just see lines and lines of cars and everything where it was never oh. like that. Look at my TV. There's shooters out there just yesterday in Waikiki, but hey, on my side of the island, this is how I enjoy my weekend. Really. Sundays is a day for me to really take everything and take it into a piece of where I feel that Home is always a place to relax and re-energize because once you start to understand and dive right in with that energy, That's how your inner peace turns into a savage. So train your mind to be calm in every situation, right? Because the lion doesn't always roar. The lion always look to see where the alligator is, where the cheetah is, or where is what, because they're using that Leo energy that's inside of you to really bring out the inner roar of who you are. You have every power to really change the world. So on this 8-8, the Lion Gate Porter is the perfect day to manifest abundance, prosperity, and it's the opening that allows and deliver all these really high frequency into the planet, allowing us to renew our spirit, our energy, and really the spirit energy of Mother Earth. And so don't forget to get our free Itchy Stinky Dog Guidebook. So it's free to download. I'm going to 
give you guys that link so you guys can understand and how you guys can do it. And if this is something that resonates to you and want to learn more about our products and service, because the planet doesn't need more successful people. The planet desperately needs more peacemakers, healers, restorers, and most of all, storytellers and lovers of all kind. So like me, I'm able to, to go through all of these part of life because I can keep on talking, but really, I am so sorry. <laughs> I won't stop talking is because I'm filled with high opting to see the growth of everyone really with a collective energy of sharing and really giving you all these things that tips and things really help the self growth because there is so much things out there that we need to learn and from that we grow and that's how I grew from medical micro bubble and doing it with a brick and mortar and turning it now into your guy's hand where you guys can learn online and really be part of these wellness information for you and your pooch because we really are looking into the quality assurance and really giving you the control by using all these natural products, whether it's our, our Hawaiian Zen Spa collection of our shampoo and conditioner and our Minical Micro Bubble Brush that you can order online at cocojor.com. And always check out our Instagram. You can just boop, boop, QR code it right there. And most of all, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we always have constant contact contents of all different kinds of things to help the modern day pet owner, whether it's webinar like this to give you that information of what is the 88 lion portal gate like this, as well as tips on our four-legged pooch. So scan this because it'll take you directly to our YouTube channel. And so you can also stay in touch and whenever you want to see. That chakra of energy. Always remember the kindest people are not born that way. They are made. They are the soul that has experienced much at the hands of life. They are the one who love, who have dug deep into themselves and out of the darkness, who have fought to turn every loss into a lesson. The kindest people don't just exist. They choose to soften where circumstances had tried them to harden them. They choose to believe in the goodness because they have seen firsthand why compassion is so necessary. They have fierce hand on why tenderness is so important in this world. So make that change because we need more people that bring in all of this kindness. So I want to thank you and really take the time to sign up so you guys can get some of these on how to do it because, you know, the steps are here and I want you to practice because practice will really make you find out the perfect ways on how you want to become that kind person, how you can really be kind to yourself, which is part of self-care. So you take care. And once again, have a wonderful 8-8. And today's the day because I'm ready to rock and roll to do some hot yoga because that, why? Because I made this room one year ago by manifesting and using that tool of three, six, nine. 
and focusing on my energy, my vibration, and the frequency and how I want to bring out because that frequency what really shows you back in your own self mirror, right? So you take care and all the best. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where I'm going to be talking about the full moon that's coming up on the 11th of August, as well as getting you prepared for the new moon. So every other maybe two weeks, I have a new video up and special videos and webinars like this. So take care and don't forget to check out our website at cocojoa.com because it's time for me to go. The alarm is telling me enough is enough because it's been 90 minutes and I want to thank you all and aloha. You take care and see you soon. Aloha.